Hey guys, welcome back to Review and Review. Review. Today we have an LG gaming monitor. Okay, right here. Oh, wow. Bam! Right here we have the 32DK850D. Now that's a mouthful. So LG says that this is an ideal display for gamers who want quick motion and seamless gameplay. That's right. Come All right. see this bad boy. Let's check it out. This is a 32 inch gaming monitor. Oh. All right, over here we have. Right, let me just put the put the box down. All right, but we still need the stand, though. Oh, any time now. So this is the stand. Oh, oh still have to fix the stand. So let me just put this down then. All right. Oh, sweet. All right, that so it is easy. That is super easy. Oh, wow. It comes with just one button level. Wow. Just slot it in and kabang. Wow, I'm actually really amazed at how easy that was to set up. It didn't take very much, no tools nope. needed. Nope. Very straightforward for such a big monitor. Yep. Alright. So let's just see what else was in that box. Over here okay, we have so our accessories. Accessories, of course. We have a HDMI cable. We have a display port cable. Oh. And we are gonna test this out. And we are going to turn it on now. Turn it on. Ooh. So this is called the RGB sphere. There are two USB ports, one SS port, one display port, a HDMI port, and a 3.5mm audio jack port. Do not use service only. Do not use, alright? It not makes use. me feel really curious and just want to touch it even more. It's, it's the only button that I've been touching. Okay, and of course the power. So let's talk about the design first. As you can see, it is a three-side borderless monitor. So it is very thin here. It's almost no borders at all. This is an ultra slim bezel. So as you can see, it's height adjustable, yep. very simple to use, and it can pivot as well. Yes. If, you're, if you want to eat here and do your work here, you can just tilt it based on whatever you feel like doing. Yep, but that's not all. Yes, that's not all. You can also swivel it as well. And Pretty good. Yep. Or play games. You never know. And would you like to say it? I feel like you've been holding this in for so long. I haven't been holding it. I'm just looking at you, showing everyone the dimension. But this is something else, like right here. Uh, yeah. I've never found a use really for monitors that go up this way. Do you? FaceTime. You can FaceTime. FaceTime. <laughs> full body, yes. I imagine looking. Full body, yes. I don't know. FaceTime, full body, yes. So the most notable thing about this gaming monitor is of course the sphere lighting at yeah. the back which can be adjusted by a wheel key which is right under the monitor. Yep. Check it out. Bam! And there are six different colors. Here. Here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is my favorite of course. The one that just keeps moving around. It's called the dynamic light. Yes. So these are just LED lights behind the gaming monitor that creates a very ambient lighting. If you put it against a wall, you can see the yeah. lights. It looks it wall. looks good behind a wall. It looks good behind a wall, man. So there are a few different game modes that you can choose on this gaming monitor as you can see when you go to game mode. So the first game mode you're able to choose from is the dust mode, which also stands for dynamic action sync. So when you're playing action-packed games, maybe FPS games, it gives you a smoother reaction time. So it's less stuttering and less tearing. Yes, and there is also the black stabilizer mode, which basically just enhances your detail in dark environment. Yep, and the last one is the crosshair, which definitely helps you in a lot of games. Oh, trust me, it, it will actually appear on your monitor. I didn't know that thing actually existed, honestly. Like a crosshair can just appear on your monitor. So this is actually a really good feature that I've never seen on any other monitor before. I used to play Counter-Strike in the past mm. and you know when I use the sniper, I try to play without Scoping. the zoom. Yeah, ah. without the scope. So what I do is take a blue blue tag ah, and then I see, I see. make it really small and paste it in the middle of my computer I so I would play CS without the scope. With a combined screen size of 32 inch, this 1440p resolution monitor offers a thrilling immersive gaming experience. So out of the box, this monitor has a refresh rate of 144Hz, but you are able to overclock it to 165Hz, which means smoother transitions. On average, everyone has a 60Hz monitor. If you're lucky, you have 120Hz. This ready from out of the box is 144 and you're able to kick it up a notch higher to 165 
Damn. The NVIDIA G-Sync also delivers incredible graphic fluid motion, so it eliminates tearing, stuttering, basically everything you don't want in terms of graphics on your monitor while playing your game. Yeah, but do keep in mind that the minimum requirements for this is that your graphic card is a GTS 650 Ti. If not, your G-Sync is redundant. So overall, in conclusion, this is a perfect all-rounded gaming monitor. Will you get this then? Yep, I would definitely get this. I think I think that would get. I I would get this too because it doesn't matter if you are a serious gamer or just a casual gamer. You would just appreciate the graphics that this display has to offer. Yep. So yeah, I would recommend you guys to get this. And if you want to FaceTime, <laughs> full body FaceTime. Alright, so thank you for watching this episode of Review and Review. Let us know what else we should review in the next episode and we will see you in the next video. Let's do it, yeah.